host to visitors from another place. That's right, the aliens could be back in town, following about 50 reported sightings of a UFO over Bayside suburbs. And they may have been hovering in our skies for the past seven months. Mark Gillies reports this time the intergalactic guests may have left a calling card. Last night's alleged sightings are being taken very seriously by police and the Royal Australian Air Force. At the centre of the UFO hoo-ha are two young police officers from St Kilda. Their response to calls reporting strange lights and a 10-metre cylindrical object hovering over Point Ormond at Elwood led them to this strange burnt patch. It was dark at the time we looked at it and we were quite curious because quite frequently we get people having bonfires and barbecues here but uh, as you can quite well see that there's no firewood or anything and at the time when we checked it at 3 o'clock this morning there was no firewood so uh, we had to treat it as if uh, something uh, unusual had happened. Constable Dolan says witnesses around St Kilda reported two orange lights glowing at either end of the object and a blast of light as it took off. They claim that blast left the strong fuel smell and the burn. Well, in light of what's happened overseas, particularly in the Soviet Union, I'm uh, liable to believe anything at this stage. But the sighting wasn't only made here at St Kilda. Apparently people all round the bay and from as far away as Geelong and Frankston reported seeing strange lights or a strange object in the sky. And that was over a period of more than an hour. Calls to police came from Frankston and Geelong and further down the eastern side of the bay to Sandringham and Brighton then across to Altona and of course back to St Kilda. Last night's encounter is apparently part of a wave of UFO sightings currently sweeping the world. These shots taken by amateur cameramen over Oklahoma this week show a bright light shooting across the night sky. And recently this strange object was captured darting around houses in California. Even the Soviet Union is in on the act with claims that aliens landed in a public park in a town just 200 kilometres from Moscow. Maybe it won't be too long before we no longer have to guess at what Martians really look like. Mark Gillies, Eyewitness News.